it's spring which means it's time for me to do a little bit of a spring reset routine so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i stay productive and romanticize the season before i can do anything i have to get in the mindset of spring and the last few weeks it's been very cloudy and rainy and that is not the mindset that i want for spring so i made a pinterest board and i titled it blue skies because that's what i really want inside is i want blue skies because all winter long it has just been gray snow and rain and i want that to be gone i want blue skies and sunshine so i named my board blue skies and I just kind of added a whole bunch of pictures that represent spring for me. Like this is going to be my vision board. I was thinking about like making a collage and then making it my wallpaper. But I really like the vision board I made for 2024. And that's my wallpaper right now. So I'm not really sure I want to change it. So for now, we're going to just use a Pinterest board. But I have a lot of different things. I have like hairstyles, hobbies, things I want to do. I want to get into reading. Like I really want to spend spring reading and I want to get into annotating my books because I read a lot of self-help books and I learn a lot of lessons from them, but then I kind of forget them because I don't really put that information anywhere. So I want to try to like start annotating my books, but I also just, I want to get flowers. I want to become a plant mom, which is saying a lot because I can barely take care of myself, but I feel like taking care of a plant will add a little bit more responsibility to my life. And I feel like I need some more responsibility so I just have a lot of pictures that represent spring to me very light pink pastel type of colors some hairstyles I want to try out some different like braiding hairstyles a uh, lots of picnics I want to go on lots of picnics this year because I didn't go on very many last year but at the top of this board I actually have another little section that has all things spring fashion I didn't add that many outfits to this board because I just made it and I also have a main style board where I keep all of my fashion for the year but I thought it would be nice to have my own little separate section for just spring and summer related outfits so the main things you need to know is that this summer this spring I'm looking to wear lots of little cardigans and lots of denim I want a pair of overalls been wanting them for like the last five years never found them never was able to thrift them so I think I'm just gonna have to cave and order them online just recently thrifted a cardigan don't know why but i'm really obsessed with cardigans right now it's a red cardigan very very pretty very very beautiful can't wait to wear that as well and also i think just like more pastel like yellows pinks blues pops of red and lots of brown accents instead of wearing black and so much white i want to wear brown because i feel like that's a good like accenty color that's not so dark but also blends well with a lot of different outfits since I finished my vision board, I want to really quickly make like a spring bucket list because I don't normally make bucket lists because sometimes I feel like they're more like goal oriented, but I want to make a bucket list of fun things that I want to do during the spring that if I don't complete them, it's okay because it will roll over into summer. So I'm going to really quickly use Notion to create a bucket list, a spring bucket list, and just kind of see what kind of things I come up with and what kind of things I want to accomplish this spring season. Whenever a new season starts, I like to spend a few minutes setting small goals and setting intentions for how I would like the next couple of months to play out. And I usually do this by reflecting on the previous season so that I can figure out what it is I need to actually work on. This spring, my main intentions are to practice self-care and expressing creativity. And I think once you know what it is you like to focus on or however you would like to feel, you can maybe write like four or five things under each intention or feeling that help you accomplish whatever it is you're working towards. For example, under self-care, I would put have a digital detox day once a week or maybe prioritize getting eight hours of sleep every night. 
And for creativity, I would probably write practice drawing for one hour each week or practice drawing twice a week or trying out a new recipe. Something I'm really looking forward to this spring is spending less time hiding in my room and more time in nature, especially on those days when it's nothing but blue skies and sunshine. And I am not an outdoorsy girl at all. I don't like to be outside, but this day in particular, I had just gotten off work. And as soon as I stepped outside, I put on my headphones and I turned on my spring playlist. And I don't know if it was the fact that it was such nice weather or that I was finally off work, but I felt like I was on cloud nine and I wanted to stay outside forever. I honestly felt like a new woman and it was slightly therapeutic. I want to end this video by doing some self-care and I just want to say that self-care looks different for everyone. Everyone has their own idea of what self-care means. For me personally, most of the times, my version of self-care is laying down in bed, cuddled up in my favorite blanket, and watching whatever mindless reality TV show I can find. But self-care can also be cleaning, you know, making sure your space is clutter-free and organized, taking time to put together a cute outfit, journaling whether you do prompts that you find on Pinterest, shadow work or just do a brain dump, drinking water, remember you have to stay hydrated, or simply taking five minutes to read that book that's been on your nightstand for the last two weeks. It all depends on what you feel like you need in that current moment. You do not need to spend hundreds of dollars to take care of yourself, but that's not to say that you shouldn't treat yourself every once in a while. That is all I have for today's video and I want to really quickly say that if this year hasn't been going your way or you've fallen off your goals that it's okay. Take this time to do a little bit of a reset, you know, take advantage of the blue skies and sunshine and do a little bit of a check-in, do a little reflection. It's okay. You need to take care of yourself. You need to be kind to yourself. Everything's going to work out in the end. It will always work out for you in the end. And with that being said, I'm going to end today's video right here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, bye!